Now we have the undetectable, something we can't detect, problem of EMF, of radiation, of signals, microwaves. I mean, if we were to be able to, if our vision could improve so that we could see in the spectrum of microwaves, you know, Wi-Fi's, we, th you, you couldn't, we wouldn't be able to see each other. There's no space between us that's not filled with electromagnetic frequencies. Now, why is that important? Well, consider this. The brain is an electromagnetic mechanism. The brain uh, functions by electricity. That's the way it is. We have a, uh, nerve, nerve impulses are electrical impulses. You've heard of electrolytes in your blood. We draw your blood to see your sodium, potassium, and chloride, etc., to see your electrolyte status. That means these are uh, molecules in your blood that are allow uh, uh, electrons to flow, which is, which is electricity. So everything is electric. So we are electromagnetic beings. And we know that you do an EKG, right? You do an EKG and you see the, you see the, the waveform. Now, here we are being bombarded, bathing. We're bathing and breathing and with all of these unnatural um, uh, frequencies. Okay, so of course they have an impact. We don't even know how, what the ultimate consequence of this is. We'll find out in the next 20 to 30 years, probably, about um, you know, some, of the, some of the stuff we were doing naturally now um, it was really dangerous. For example, when they first found out about radiation, Madame Curie back in those days around 1900, 1910, they first found out about radiation and they were using it against cancer. They were using doses now that were, uh, then, that we wouldn't, you know, it's a, and people were dying of cancer. We didn't know, okay? So it's just like now, we had, we've had cell phones. We don't really realize that we're, we're getting a lot more brain tumors and we're getting auditory, you know, especially um, tumors along the auditory canal, et cetera. 